okay it's gonna go ahead and bring that and then you gotta just write like so and you're gonna say cool button designer that's this note right here and then I'm gonna go to that child version and uh, version so I'm gonna type sorry and as you saw um, this is the PowerPoint that's how I create this video tutorial using the PowerPoint Rose video capture to capture the my uh, to put it in a full screen like this and to capture um, it with the Maros video capture that's how the introduction was done so as you can see I'm using the soft the program the applications that was developed by me to create this tutorials as, so um, I'm kind of an advanced level of the user of Windows uh, operating systems and I think my information will be valuable for anybody out there beginner programmers uh, just to have watchers and even advanced programmers alright cool button designer and now I'm gonna go and go for sub note or sub child version and I'm gonna put slash version okay so this is where we're gonna select we're gonna select that version node and then I'm gonna put dot and I'm gonna say text and convert it into the text convert the information and version node into the text which will convert only the value text means the value of that node and the value is 7.1 this information so it's basically just gonna get this information and transfer to the XML data that text and it will display in that box I'm gonna click run and it's gonna give me an error means something I didn't uh, load correctly select single node okay let's cancel that and try that again alright now it's working so we did a mistake when we did XML reader dot load XML it was a mistake we should say dot load because dot load what it will do it just asking for the source to load our source and all what I did I load the XML document over here into the XML so XML was looking for something like XML code instead of the file on the server so and this is not the code and I didn't understand that so instead of load XML I'm gonna show you in a second how to use the load XML values but instead of load XML if you're looking to grab uh, the file from the server or the file on your local drive you gotta say XML reader dot load ask for that URL in a string that URL path and that's what we did and now when I'm gonna click run it's gonna say 7.1 means that it's grabbed the version uh, node from over here and uh, it's grabbed only text of it which is value 7.1 uh, let's say I want to say the release date instead of version I want to get the release date and how to do this uh, I'm just gonna put the release date over here release date like on our XML document right here I'm gonna just put this subchild this node because in, instead of this in, in inside of this cool button designer node we have like ch uh, uh, childs like version node release date and application info three so and um, that's what what I did and I'm gonna click play and it's gonna load the date now and this going on um, it's loading the information from the server means that you can create the application that will read the information from the web server and you can upload on that web server anytime 
new file and that application that is going to be created will dynamically read the data from the server which is pretty awesome I use this uh, strategy that I came out with this strategy and then I use this uh, the first time with my morose auto updater program that updates the cool button designer my first program uh, that's gonna receive this cool button designer it's using the XML M MS XML uh, component to connect to the server and grab some information and display that information to the user using the cool button designer so I can change that file on the server anytime and anytime I'm gonna change it this file uh, the the program that you're gonna write will see every time new information which is very convenient alright so we just learned uh, how to read the uh, XML text and if I'm gonna select instead of that text if I'm gonna select dot XML what it will do it will read the whole XML code an XML matter right over here release date January and like the whole note this note right here it's reading that and if I need this code in XML matter if I need this code just display me the values of that note I'm gonna put dot like so I'm gonna say text and here we go it's just going to read the text so you just learned how to read the XML document from the server if this is going to be on the um, local disk all what you gotta do just specify like so C slash and uh, XML file dot XML whatever the XML file is okay and it's gonna work it's going to work so and uh, now I would like to learn and um, how to basically we just learned how to read the XML file and um, so pretty much uh, that that's all you just learn you just learn how to read the XML file the basics uh, of the XML file and um, if let's say if you would like to transfer this data this XML file this XML thing into some other thing let's say XML data we're gonna create a new instance called XML data of the DOM document which is gonna work with XML files source of XML files and XML data and then I'm gonna say XML data uh, let's say data transfer we don't wanna repeat because we have the XML data over here we don't wanna confuse the computer transfer I'm gonna say data transfer and um, load XML and I'm gonna say equal to this guy right here I'm just gonna show you another way how to pass the XML data into different instance like so and then I'm gonna say XML data dot text which are text box over here this one right here equal to this guy right here transfer dot XML so what it's going to do it's just going to um, not
Okay. So load XML, we're gonna say XML. Let's say it like this. Nope, doesn't work. So should be load XML. Load XML, which XML data. And it's not equal. It should be yeah, makes sense. It should be like this in those brackets. Round round brackets. And um so what what's it going to do? is going to uh, load the data of the XML from release date, the whole with the note and the value information, this one right here, it's going to load into this instance XML data transfer using the load XML property. And then I'm gonna say the text equal this guy right here. That XML. So it's going to display the XML source code of that node. So you just learn how to store the XML data uh, inside of the XML um, DOM documents. It's one way. I just this decided to share with you. And if you're gonna put the text instead of XML, it's just going to bring uh, print you the date. It's gonna bring you the value of this guy right here. Which is going to be date and right here so as again thank you so much for watching today you learned how to open the XML files or work with XML data using the Visual Basic 6 my name is Alexander Morose I am uh, the uh, web developer application developer graphic designer 3D uh, artist uh, photographer and overclocker I have seven years of experience in IT and uh, I decided to share with you of knowledge how to use the XML, uh, how to load and read the XML data and I think it will be useful for somebody. Please rate this video, subscribe if you like so much, God bless you, come back for more video tutorials on programming, more is coming. And keep in mind that this video will be on two channels. One channel is youtube.com. Let me put it for you. One channel is youtube.com slash. And another channel is youtube.com slash morose academy. So this video will be split it into two parts and will be available over that two channels officially and please watch the both parts thank you so much and have a nice 2011 peace bye bye now